Hello everybody, in this short video, I'm going to show you an amazing deployment tool for developers. You can basically deploy any application like Laravel, PHP, HTML, Vue.js, Angular, and so on. It's so simple, just drag and drop. In this demo, I'm going to show you how we can deploy a fresh Laravel application with really very simple steps. So without further ado, let's get started. So I, as you can see, I have just fresh Laravel application, Laravel 9. I pushed this application to GitHub. The name is DS application. And then if I go to digital sale, then I go to infrastructure side and the repos. Of course, I already synced my GitHub repos. Then it's just a matter to go to this application or this repo and then drag and drop on the server. This is basically a server and put some configuration. So I'm going to name it my domain, for example, this DS app 01, let's assume 01. And then if you have domain, then you can add your, do your own domain. But in this case, I'm going to use the free one, this domain. I'm going to select deployment on change. So if I change something in my code and, you know, push it to GitHub, then this one will be kicked off automatically. So I select a Docker file, Laravel 9, and then there is an advanced setting. So basically maybe you can increase the CPU. And if you want to do any configuration in the Docker file, in this case, I don't have to do anything. And then normally in Laravel, then you have to, you know, put your envir environment file. So in that case, I'm just copy the standard Laravel. If you go to Laravel, Laravel, which is the standard or the official Laravel, a website or github repositories and then go to the .env.example just I'm going to copy this to be, it'll make my life easy and then go to digital sale and then paste here and then just change the domain so I'm going to change my domain I'll put this https and this will be ds-app01 and then ds-deploy the free domain deploy.online as you can see here ds dash app 01 and then maybe without 01 ds app and then i'm going to configure it also ds app here that's it what we need to do and then i don't have i don't want to do any scripts right now and then just click on create as you can see the deployment is going on so once finished it will refresh and then i'll be able to view my domain and all details about that repositories so once completed, as you can see, it's already refreshed. So if I click on the visit site, of course, I'm going to get an error because I didn't run the PHP create or generate keys. So I want to show you how can we do that. We go to the command line and then we'll run our command PHP artisan and key generate G column generate then click on execute. And then that's it. If I go to the application again and refresh, then this is also, you know, as, as production or as, as the development. So if I go back to my, you know, code and then let's assume change something on my code sponsor, for example, digital sale, digital sale. And then I go to get, get add, get add, and get comment minus n to put some comments and then I say for example modify modify welcome page and then get push that's it if I push now this one if I go to my digital sale in few seconds you can see a refresh or running which is basically if you see now it should be replicated that quick so sometimes even you cannot see it because it's really really fast so now this is the production if you can see the domain and this is the development it's the same thing it's really amazing tool you can deploy many type of application i hope this video was informative thank you for watching